Okay. Ah, okay. What's wrong with me? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be... The new version of Mega Hack is out. Jeez, it's very small in this one, so, okay. So, everyone get out your magnifying glasses. So, there's a new hitboxes feature, and I'm going to use this. And, basically, what it does is it allows you to see the hitboxes of all objects. So, here's a red kind of thing there. So, the little blue thing is my actual damage hitbox. Do I have no clip on? Yes, so I have no clip on right now. So, this is a very bad example. I thought, hey, why not try this with impossible levels? So I will be trying it with impossible levels. The first one I'm going to try... Hmm, what should be the first one I try? Maybe I'll try it with Tartarus first. So pretty low on the list. So let's see how this looks. Alright, oh, okay. So can we see the hitboxes of it now? Jeez, the hitboxes for the spike are so terrible. Look at that, they're just like this square. It's not in a triangle shape. For some reason looking at it makes the game feel easier. So as you can see, when there's a spike, there's actually a little more room than you'd think. Ah, Tartar is so easy. Oh no! Oh well, my macro broke, but there we go, that was Tartarus. So. Hmm, what should, what should I have a look at now? I'll have a look at something higher up. Let me find the list. Oi Mayakon. Oi my icon. Do I have a macro for this? I did a video on this. Yes! Okay, so it'll be interesting to see the hitboxes for this level. Oh wow, so I'm skimming the edges of basically every single hitbox. This will be this will be better if I use speed hack, I think. Yeah, so you can see the hitbox is only just not touching those red bits. It's so precise. So yeah, every click in this level is frame perfect. So only get one frame to make the right timing. But yeah, you can see it's just shaving those little red hitboxes so precisely for every jump. I love the, the half spike hitboxes. It is so bad. What, what was Rob Top thinking when he made these hitboxes? Like, oh yes, this is the best hitbox I've ever made to be implemented into my game. Okay, let, let's try something even harder. Why have I set it to two? I, I want one. Okay, let's try wistfully. I hope I don't lag. 1000 frames per second. That's, that's quite, a, quite a decent macro. Oh wow, yeah. Jesus. Right, so the red hitbox, if the red touches the red, then it dies, right? Look how close it gets. Okay, alright. 0 0.4, 0 0.4 speed. Look how close that's getting. That's like a few pixels on my monitor. Look how close it's getting! And there's two of them in two player. Okay, so you can see all the little hitboxes, like everything. There are so many, like, hidden. Look at even here. This is actually really interesting to see all the hitboxes. I didn't think they'd be like this. So the red squares keeps getting, it keeps getting, like, literally shaving. Oh, it's so satisfying watching it only just hit it. But only just not hit it, actually. That's so cool. Holy crap, it's just lagging me. My FPS is suffering right now. There are so many frame drops. Oh wow, so there are hitboxes hidden in this maze as well. You can, you can see which way to go. So there are orbs, there are like hidden spikes everywhere in this. You wouldn't have thought that, I thought it was just a maze. But no, every jump in this maze is like a frame perfect of some kind. That's really weird. <laughs> There's so much red squares on the screen. With like spikes being stacked on top of each other. Look how close, oh my god! That gets so close. Before this level was so dark, so you couldn't really tell how close things were getting, but now I can see it, I'm like, Jesus. No wonder this is, like, number two on the list. It makes me think, what's... Ballistic Wistfully has so many, like, invisible spikes, so if we turn this on, we'll be able to see everything. So that would be really fun. It's just such a cool feature. But thanks to Absolute for adding this to, like, Mega Hack. Even if it does tank my FPS, I mean, I'm literally running like 12 cores and my FPS is suffering so much. So this this probably does need to be optimized a bit, but like, destroying so many boxes, there's only, it can only be so optimized. Oh Jesus, like, it, it still shows the meme when it flips. So when it flips, it doesn't change. That's useful, especially if you're botting. Well, you can see how it perfectly avoids the hitboxes as well. You could actually go through the middle. Oh my god. There are so, they're, they're everywhere. Oh my god. Look at that. But it's like perfect. The red things are close to the red things. I'm so impatient I can't even wait for like the five seconds it's gonna take to the end screen. Okay, well, now that we tried number two, let's try number one. Oh I remembered it. Okay. 
I think that's the name of the macro. There's something random like that. Okay, so I'll see if this tanks my FPS or not. Oh my god, I'm getting 25 FPS. All right, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to slow things down here. Okay, here we go. We can see the hotboxes now. Ah, oh, it's perfect. There are spikes inside the blocks. What? I don't know what they're doing inside the blocks. They don't seem to be. There are spikes inside the pads that it avoids. Look, right there. They're so tiny, but it's like there. Okay. All right. Yeah, I understand why this is top one now. Look at that. It's if the red hitbox even slightly touches the other ones, the ship dies, and it's perfect. So that's just some UFO spam there. I thought it was something different. I wonder what the um thing's gonna look like. The uh the, the triangly thing. Boom 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 boom. boom. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward this bit because I've seen enough gameplay like this. I I want to see what the wave afterwards looks like. Oh wow! So there are lots of invisible hitboxes. So these are the actual hitboxes for the wave. So the gaps they're going through. As you can see, it's quite different to how it appears without the hitboxes being shown. That's so cool. It's like X-ray. You can use that for um memory levels. Although we'd we'll probably be cheating. But yeah, look at that. And this is two-player wave as well. There are spikes hidden along the edge. I just realised that. If you look really closely along the edge of the uh, the large wave, you can see that there are little tiny red boxes that it has to go through. And those are the hitboxes of the spikes which are hidden in the wave. There we go. So this is the new version uh, where the top has been changed. Originally this is just straight find the top. Now the ship's avoiding stuff. So this is cool to watch. No! I bloody exited! Oh, Okay, I'll, I'll get back to where I was, because I, I want to see the triangle bit. But yeah, holy crap, I get 24 FPS, this is so unoptimized. Oh wow, so there's this thing that follows you. Okay, and you have to perfectly follow that. So this follows... this isn't... I don't think this locks to the player's X and Y positions, I think it has to follow this, like, manually. Yeah, because it's changing a tie a little bit, oh my god. So it has a perfectly click like this. I didn't know that. I know there are hidden spikes as well that make it tighter. I don't think it hides anything in the UFO. Yeah, this is just a really tight UFO section. Now I wonder what the triangly bit looks like. Like you know what I mean by triangly bits. It's it's a bit Okay, so it's a minus wave. Well not a minus wave, it's a two player wave. Yeah, you can see all the little red hitboxes. This is so cool, this is definitely a thumbnail. You can see the wave hitboxes is a little square as well, it's not even wave shaped. What surprises me the most is like their hitboxes, they aren't like triangle shaped for triangles. They're just small squares. So this is a section where you can't see anything. <laughs> well you can kind of see everything, but you, you know, you, you can't really see. Okay, that sentence I said just made no sense whatsoever, but ig ig ignore me. I'm back right now, I really don't know what's happened to the level, it seems to have corrupted. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna end it there, I'm gonna end it there. It seems to have corrupted. Well, I don't know what I should look at next. Um, I'll, I don't think there really is anything to look at next, maybe I'll try and play something with this. So I'll go to full speed, 360 FPS. Okay, I'll, I'll try it and see if I can beat it with the noticeable FPS drop. Well, I'm playing on my 4K monitor right now, which is 60 hertz. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to deal with this on 60 hertz. Although, deadlocks on 60 hertz isn't exactly something I should be like, afraid of. No, not deadlocks on 60 hertz. Guys, I actually, I actually beat the golden on 60 hertz. It was all a social experiment. Yeah, so I'll, put, I'll make the title. I'll just. Guys, I beat deadlocked. Hitbox is on 60 hertz. Brackets, social experiment. Okay, uh, I've, offic I've officially become bad at GD. Um, yeah, so that should be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. And that's it, yeah. I have nothing else to say. I'm, I'm literally waiting to end the video. Okay, su subscribe now. Do it now. Literally, subscribe 